If you've got AirPods Pro, you're going to notice a couple of brand new settings now you've updated to iOS 17. If I jump into the settings app and then tap onto my connected AirPods at the top, on here I've got various options for noise control, some of which we've had before. Now if you're not sure, noise control is where it blocks out those background sounds, a bit like noise cancellation. So you can have noise control turned off, you can have that noise cancellation on and lose all the background sounds, or you can have transparency mode where you can kind of hear as if you weren't wearing headphones. Well, there's a new mode in iOS 17 called Adaptive, and this will detect what's around you and get rid of the background noise, but not the important noise. So, for example, if there's a washing machine or dishwasher in the background, but people talking, you'll still hear people talking, but you won't necessarily hear that appliance humming away in the background. There's also a very clever new feature called Conversation Awareness. And if I scroll down slightly, I have the option of turning this on or turning this off. And as you might anticipate, if it's turned on, your music or whatever you're listening to will dip down slightly in volume, the noise cancellation will come off, and you can hear the person you're talking to without removing your headphones at all. It's a really interesting feature, and it works surprisingly well in my testing. Of course, you won't always want to go in the settings app to make these changes, so actually if you're playing a song or listening to music, simply jump into Control Center, long press on that AirPods icon, and then from here you can choose the noise control mode and the conversation awareness mode, just with those two little toggles there. This is another nice little improvement in iOS 17 that makes your iPhone and your AirPods better than ever. And if you want to see what else has changed, check out this playlist on the end screen now. And if you enjoyed this video and you want some more, please do subscribe down below, then you won't miss any iPhone tips in the future.